So have you ever done Sautelier before? Where do you do it? In the scale. In our scale system, we do Sautelier, right. What kind of a contact point do you need for this stroke? Higher. Why? So generally, spiccato is going to be? Higher. And staccato is going to be? Lower. Right. And Sautelier is a kind of spiccato stroke, okay? Um, and so we need, because it's a very fast stroke like that, you need a higher contact point. So, so try a little bit. Okay, now, the faster it is, the further out on the bow it's going to be. The faster it is, the still active, passive, but the faster it is, the more it's going to go in the wrist. Just do this for a second, like, without the bow, just do this motion. Good. So it's going to be a little bit more of that loose wrist kind of thing, but it still comes from the upper arm, basically. So. Just do that. Right. Just do one group, and um, start always from the string. Just do one group like that. Yeah, that might be too far out on the bow now for this tempo, so... Sometimes it's good to start here and move it out, so... from the string. Right, try to loosen the wrist a little bit. I don't mean to go, you know, keep the tempo, keep the, uh, the notes the same lengths and the same rhythm. But you just start. Just do, just do that. So start a little closer to the frog for the and then come off the, out of the string and let it down. Good, now it's going to go. Right, let it have a little bit more of this shape rather than a U shape, a little more V. Right, so if you have a U shape, you know, the, the U shape is going to be is going to be more like that. And we want... Okay, so with that idea, just um, continue on for next time, and maybe move the tempo up a little bit, you know. And I'll do much more with this stroke than next time, okay?